The last time we caught up with Marisa, she was on the move. There's been plenty of street talk surrounding Marisa Bosa. Stricken with multiple sclerosis, she's the driving force behind Fight for Mobility, running races for her cause. And despite her affliction, Marisa recently conquered her first marathon. So what it's doing is it's keeping the fluid out of the lungs. But this week, she was stopped in her tracks. I have COVID-19. On Tuesday, Marisa was admitted to Johnson Memorial Hospital in Stafford Springs. I gave myself five seconds to cry about it. And I said, that's it. What do we do to beat it? They went into this full force. They saw double pneumonia, did the CAT scan. They said, that's it. We're putting you immediately on the medication for COVID. It sounds like you're treating this just like you're treating one of your races. I am out of this bed. So this is my bed. I'm out of this bed every morning and I'm up and I'm walking on in my, my room or I have my little makeshift Pilates, you know, right over here where I'm doing stretches. I am not sitting there going, I have COVID. I am moving the fluid out of my lungs and I don't want to be on a ventilator. As her battle continues, Marisa had a message for the medical staff at Johnson Memorial. To the nurses, let's talk about the nurses. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to the moments where I was crying because isolation, this is, this is me. I have no family, it's me in isolation. They became my family. And they've been my family since the day I walked in this hospital. And it appears another finish line is in sight. Marisa says chances are she'll be discharged in the days ahead. You're convinced you're putting up the fight and you're beating this? COVID is not beating me, MS is not beating me. So full force, this oh. isn't gonna beat me. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.